Hey everybody, welcome back to another snapshot video. Today 1.15.2 pre-release 1 was released and it contains some nice changes to the piece and also a lot of really good bug fixes. Alright, so let's start with the changes to the bees and bee related farms first. So the first one is if you would break a beehive or a bee nest with bees inside, while there are other bees around, this would no longer the other bees. There we go. Previously they would have attacked you immediately. There's also a change where you can find the generated bees and bee nests. Previously you could only find them in the plains, sunflower plains and the flower forest biome. Now additionally they would also generate in the birch forest biome and variants of the birch forest and also in normal forest biomes. But only like before on the side of either birch or oak trees. So don't waste any time searching in for example a tiger biome. I've been flying around quite a bit in order to find some bees in a birch forest. It's still a bit rare, so in case you really don't have any luck finding bees yourself, you could also now generate them again. Like in the very first snapshots, if you would grow uh, oak or birch trees, there's a 5% chance that a bee nest would generate on the side. So here we got exactly 100 birch saplings. I'm gonna set the tick speed rather high. And let's see if we have some luck. And there we go. We got our first bee nest. In case you've been wondering about those flowers here in the back, they're actually necessary to get a bee nest. That's something that Sky Rising found out. So if you have any flower within the 5 by 5 by 3 area around the sapling, then there is this 5% chance if you have an oak or birch sapling that grows that you get a bee nest. So this is the 5 by 5 by 3 area and any of those blocks being a flower would give it a 5% chance. Having multiple flowers would not increase the chance, you just need a single one. This also works in every biome. Um, and yeah, the good news is this wouldn't ruin any tree farms. In case you don't have a flower nearby, you get the normal tree growth. So all the tree farms are safe. But additionally, we also have this feature now to generate bee nests. In my opinion, this is a really nice change. One of the consequences is that you can get bees in pretty much any normal skyblock world now, all you need is a sapling, which is mostly provided, and some grass to get some flowers. Another consequence is that the bee nests are also now renewable. Alright, now let's talk about some bug fixes affecting the bees. There was kind of an exploit you could use. The bees would forget how often they pollinated crops if you would unload the chunks. So there's a max of 10 times you would be able to pollinate, for example, those wheat seeds here and yeah, cause them to grow. But if you would leave the chunk or in a single player just yeah, close the game and log back in, then the counter got reset. That's no longer the case. Then there's also a bug that got fixed that I stumbled upon recently together with Two No To Name, and this was also featured in a video. Bees that are passengers in a minecart or on a boat and would enter a beehive from there um, kind of lost all their MPT data. And then you got those glitched beehives where the bees will would occupy the spaces but would never leave again. This has been fixed as well. There's also a really nice change that would affect honeycomb farms. So previously if you would use your shears on a beehive or a bee nest that is at fill level 5, you would get three single honeycomb items, which the hopper couldn't collect at once. It would only pick up one item and then it has its cooldown and meanwhile the items would fly to the side um, and yeah, wouldn't be picked up at hopper. So now the change is, instead of getting three single items, we get a stack of three items, which can be easily collected by the hopper. Yeah, the consequence of that uh, is that it's kind of easy now to make a lossless honeycomb farm that doesn't use any minecarts. Concrete powder has been fixed as well. So in 1.15 there was the issue that if you would drop it into water, Instead of converting into a concrete block, it would just pop off into item form. An old issue affecting beacons and potion effects also has been fixed. So if you had the following situation, you had a speed 1 potion for 8 minutes, and then you enter the range of a beacon, this would be overwritten by the speed 2 effect. Now if you would leave the range of the beacon again, your 7 and something minutes you got left on your speed 1 potion would be lost because it was overwritten with a speed 2 effect. And now this has been fixed and we still have the speed effect. Believe it or not, the furnace minecart also got some love. So there was an issue if it would go around the corner that sometimes loses its power and would just stop 
yeah, and this has been fixed. So I think it's great that it's still working on the furnace minecart. Still, it would be so nice if at some point we would get fully working proper trains. So there's this yeah, feature in the game that you can actually hook up a normal minecart to a furnace minecart, but it seems like that also has been affected. Now it easily gets repelled, unlike in previous versions. I think it's still working, but yeah, that was always this issue if we try to go around the corner, then always lose connection. So I hope at some point this will also work. An issue that probably affected all of us at least once has been fixed as well. So probably know the following situation. You have an elytra, you climb up some ladders, and because you're dumb, you press space for no reason. Previously, that would actually have deployed the elytra and you would fall down. But not anymore, I can press space all day while climbing some ladders, and yeah, it wouldn't deploy the elytra. Perfect. And last, two new game rules have been added to the game. So we got now the game rule do patrol spawning. If you would set this to false, you won't get any pillager patrols anymore. And we also have the same for trader spawning. If you set that to false, you won't get any wandering traders anymore. Alright, that's it for today's snapshot video. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye bye.